Now, in this particular section, we are going to understand uh, how to craft your ad. Okay, now understand this particular component. Like I'm telling you some common sense, okay, so that you can develop better on this common sense. Okay. Sure. Now, if you see this um, um, example ad given by Bing Ad, that is freshly delivered flowers now. Save 10% with summer promotion. Sustainably grown flowers on sale and ready to ship within four hours. Order now. Now, can you tell me what the what do you understand by this ad? Can you tell me in five lines, six lines? Explain me this ad, please. Don't read it, but explain so, what does it mean. Yeah, yeah. So this ad is for the um, audience who are looking for a bouquet to. Uh, um, the, who are looking for the bouquet to present to the, whatever uh, the things are. So okay, let me are... rephrase my question. Let me rephrase my question. After looking at this ad, what do you think? Who are, who is this company? Who are these people and what, they, what do they do and how they do it? Tell me. Tell me about the company of this ad after looking at okay. this ad. So these companies are bouquet companies mm -hmm. or the, uh, they, they go uh, grow the flower uh, related uh, mm -hmm. um, industry and they are trying to attract all the viewers related to the bouquet. Okay. So basically by looking at this ad, we, we, we can pretty much make out that this company's job is to deliver flowers. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is when I read the description says sustainably grown flowers. So that means the flowers they, they grow are, are sustainable and are good right yes correct yes so they are not just the delivery company but they are the growers so rather manufacturer yeah. of particular. yes that's correct again uh the other thing that uh, that we can understand from this like a very small ad is that uh they are running a promotion right correct and uh, other thing is they have used this word summer okay so when you use such kind of nature natural keyword right a nature related keyword so let's say if it's summer so we connect to that particular situation and that particular company right so if it's the summer season you and if you need flowers right you will see okay it's summer wow okay so i connect yeah. with this right subconsciously okay. correct correct and when it says 10 percent, so this is a trigger right Yes. of attracting correct so so you should always remember i told you about the trigger terms right you need to touch the subconscious mind of your audience correct mm -hmm. now you see it says 10 person so this is something attractive summer is where you connect with he, they're connecting with the person using this particular word promotion is is a trigger term right wherever we see promotion promotion is a part of our brain that says okay there's some special promotion going on go to go to this shopping mall right correct deliver flowers now okay now now is something that they're fast at doing that right correct mm. again uh, here they've explained uh, ready to ship within four hours they're giving the right expectations correct mm. so okay. so they're setting the right expect expectations from the first time a person looks at the at their ad right mm -hmm order now now they're telling the person you have to pay right that's yeah. not free correct yeah. now because they've given everything in detail a wrong person is not going to click this ad a person who does not have money is not going to click right a person who's not ready to buy is not going to click and any such person who is not worth our opt-in worth our subscriber worth our customer and if he clicks our ad, who is getting into loss? Who is paying for that click? Right. So you, right? The advertiser, yes. correct? Yes. So, so, so we, because he's not the right target or he's not the right person that is uh, his expectation. Yeah. Got yep. it. And and when when we get irrelevant clicks, correct? Correct. Whose fault is that? Our ad copy's fault, right? Correct. Yes. So so yes. we need to make sure our ad copy should be perfectly crafted correct so yeah. that we can we can uh, simply uh, set the right expectation from the first time the, the visitor looks at our ad right correct because okay. this particular thing is either going to break you 
or make make your uh, break your ROI or make your ROI. Okay, correct. So uh, I like to emphasize on this part, right? Correct, uh, because you know ad copy is everything. Correct. Now this is where you put your final URL. Okay, so www mm -hmm. your final URL final URL dot com. Okay. Um, okay. Again. So the final URL means this is the link where the person is going to land on your website. Okay, whatever you put here. Okay, so the visitor is going to land on your website. Again, title part one. So title part one is the freshly delivered flowers. This is title part one. Okay, correct. Mm -hmm. And title part two is the save ten percent with summer promotion. Okay. Okay. Correct. There's a pipe in between. Yeah. Yeah, and title part three has recently been launched by Bing Ads. That is like um, uh, a one month back, I believe, or maybe sixty days back, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, you can add another title part, but but uh, I, I observe that they have not changed this example with title part three because it does not mm -hmm. have a title part three. You see that, right? Correct. Correct. And I've been looking at this example for almost like um, almost like five years. <laughs> Yeah. So again, our path is important. Okay. Now let's say if your ad is like um, uh, funnel URL boss team, right? So you need to copy this boss from here, put it here. Okay. Paste. Mm -hmm. You need to copy paste these terms rather than um, what? Okay. I think other things, yeah. So, uh, can you remove this part of her name? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Copy boss from above and put it in the path section. Without the, just the keyword, okay? Yeah. Not the forward slash. Okay, let's remove oh. her fast slash, okay? Now understand, this is really important, okay, for the approval of your ads. If this yeah. URL, okay, and this URL does not match, okay, your ad will not be approved, okay? On I way. didn't get you, Shabir. So, so again, the final URL and the path must 100% match. Oh, okay. Okay? Previously, okay. Bing used to call this as display URL, but now they're calling it as path. Okay. Okay. So again, um, what it is a simplified web page address that appears in your ad, similar to the display URL in text ads. Correct. Now, previously, mm -hmm. they used to call it display URL. I told you what you need to know: the path is distinct from the final URL. The final URL is the actual web page URL that, that customers are taken to after they click your ad. The path can be a shorter or friendlier version. Of your URL showing one or two subdirectories. Let's say you sell oh. men's clothes and you're advertising shirts that are on sale for spring. So while your final URL might be www.contoso.com forward slash now content, this is your final URL, okay? Correct. Right. So again, uh, uh, let's say you sell men's clothes, you're advertising shirts that are on sale for spring, while your final URL might be this. So you can put a short version of it. You can put content and, and Ian, so that the person gets a basic idea, right? Why it's important to okay. get a clear idea of who, where they will go when they click on your ad, okay? Correct. Okay. Uh, previously, okay. um, the even if the people, what people used to do is uh, previously being allowed you to um, this you display a different URL as uh, compared to this one, but uh, after um. some time they wanted these things to match, correct? So when you type okay. boss here, look at the right side. Okay, it will come. It will look come up at the right side in mm. the green here. It will come up. Okay, right. right so I type right. boss, boss, and team. Right, correct. Okay. Okay. But it's not coming in so, on there from here. Yeah. Right? So my understanding, what I was looking at it is that uh, no matter what path you add, uh, the subdirectory boss or team or something like that. But actually, in the ad, only the primary URL will be showed. So that part is like I'm like, okay. Yeah, you get the point. The the path and the final URL must hundred percent match. Must match. Okay. okay. Uh, ad text one. This is where the the description goes. Sustainably grown flowers on sale and ready to ship within four hours. Order now, right? Ad text two. They're giving ad text two as well recently. 
um, again, mobile URL, okay? So uh, mm -hmm. you can use this particular component, right? If you put it, like, let's say, um, if your landing page, landing page does not open properly on mobile, correct? So you can create a mobile landing page, correct? Of, of the okay. same version, but the mobile version, and you can put that URL here, okay? Now, what does this mean? So if a person clicks on your ad from his cell phone, Bing will automatically redirect that person to this mobile URL for your mobile version of the page. So the point? Okay. Okay. Correct. So uh, this is where we create, let's say, our ad, ad copy one title part two. two. And uh, again, let's leave two. this ad text one description. This description of the offer okay now I'll just okay. scroll down and click save can you scroll down and click save please yeah click save <clears throat> now understand this Rahul you yeah. have to create at least seven ads for each of your ad group so we've created just one ad but we have to have seven different ads Okay, correct. Okay. Uh, and when you create seven different ads, uh, now um, my students get like really confused, right? So when they create mm -hmm. seven ads in this ad group, then they say, you have to create seven ads for the other six ad groups as well. They say, okay, wow, that's like too much work, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. But, mm -hmm. but what you can do is you can simply click this button, okay? And you can click this copy to all other ad groups, correct? And as soon as you click it, that ad gets copied to all the seven, okay? Correct. Ad groups. So correct. It's like easy. Uh, again, so it's simple that what you're saying is that add number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, right? Absolutely. And you don't need to go ahead and manually do all of one. All one of the others. One, you just need to copy, 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 and yeah. Do that. So you you just need to create seven different ads for uh, the first ad group, and then you can click copy, 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 right? Correct. Obviously, we right. need to create first campaign live, okay? Correct. But I'm just I I want to just uh, make you feel comfortable with everything, correct? Um, right. Uh, again, uh, that said, let's scroll down. Okay. And, uh, so I'm bit bit confused on the part of above is that one is add one and one is add two. So you want total add seven seven ads you want, right? This is add number one, add copy one. So you have to create create add. Okay. And what I'll do is uh, to make things. And what about green. then the, I'll just, the uh, uh, left hand side on this add one? What is this? Add. Add? Okay, I'll click copy add, correct. Copy okay. add. Okay, got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now these ads should not be identical. The title should be different. Correct. The description should be different. Title part one, title part two should be different, right? Correct? Right. So minimum seven. Okay, if you can create more than that, better for you, right? So you, you're Correct. giving more different variations of ads to Bing so that it can show it to its audience, right? Correct? The okay. less variations, the, the less opportunity. Correct? Mm. So again, understand Bing Ads is a place of opportunities, correct? Right. So um, again, uh, let's uh, simply scroll down and uh, we'll click save and go to next step. But but before that, I want to show you something here. Okay. Okay. Now we've created these ad copies finally, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. 